Hello again. After what I was saying yesterday about our Chancellor of the Exchequer's, shall we say, lack of patriotism, I was amused to read in this morning's newspaper that he has for a long time had it in mind to move permanently with his family to the United States. According to the Daily Telegraph, I give a link to the piece in the description to this video, it is an open secret that Mr Sunak is attracted to the idea of a future life in California, a place he reportedly referred to as home during a recent official visit there. And the expectation among friends is that if he feels his shot at the top job has gone, he will move his family to Santa Monica, where they have a five and a half million pound seafront penthouse and pursue a career in Silicon Valley. As I said yesterday, no attachment whatsoever to this country and only interested in personal advancement. How we let these drifters and cosmopolitan types into the government is a complete mystery to me. Talking of cosmopolitans or globalists, internationalists, or as they are sometimes known, anywhere people, I thought I would deal with a misconception which cropped up in the comments on my piece on this subject yesterday. I am very far from being a fan of Boris Johnson and regard him as the archetypal cosmopolitan with no regard for Britain. However, I am not using cosmopolitan in this context as a coded reference to Jews. In Soviet Russia at one time, the expression rootless cosmopolitans was used as a reference to Jews without actually saying so. This is not at all what I meant. Which brings me to the question of whether our Prime Minister is, in addition to being uh, cosmopolitan, actually Jewish. An awful lot of people claim this. Some did so yesterday here. It should be easy enough to establish, but we need to think about how we're going to define a Jew. This question, who is a Jew, has for many years been a vexed one in Israel, of course. Let's try a couple of definitions and see if Boris Johnson fits either. The simplest one is that a Jew is somebody born of a Jewish mother ethnicity in this case being matrilinear. There's a long story behind this which we needn't go into, it goes back thousands of years. Part of it, interestingly enough, um, involves Ukraine, the Cossack pogroms there in the 17th century. Khmelnytsky um, and his men raped so many Jewish women that there was an argument about how it would be known whether or not the babies they bore were Jews or of half-breed Cossacks, so there was a rabbinic ruling that all children born of Jewish mothers would be regarded as Jews. Anyway, that's by the by. Anyway, is Johnson a Jew by that definition? Is his mother Jewish? Charlotte Fawcett is his mother, and Charlotte Fawcett's mother was a woman called Frances Lowe. Was she Jewish? Well, her mother was called Mary Porter, and she definitely wasn't Jewish. Her family were American Methodists, had been for a hundred years or so. So according to this commonly accepted definition, Boris Johnson is certainly not Jewish. Perhaps it's from further back, though, maybe his father's side. Let's try another way of defining whether or not somebody is a Jew. In Germany, during the Third Reich, a series of laws were enacted to work out precisely who was a Jew and who a so-called Mischling, or partly Jewish person. I dare say some viewers would have heard of the Nuremberg Laws. Let's try that and see if Johnson would have been regarded as Jewish in Nazi Germany. The rules were very simple. And in the description to this video, I give a link to a piece setting out um, the Michelin rules, Michelin test uh, based upon the Nuremberg laws. Somebody with either three or four Jewish grandparents was considered to be a Jew and there was no question about it. 
A person with two Jewish grandparents was considered to be either a Jew or a Michelin of the first degree. Somebody with only one Jewish grandparent was a Michelin of the second degree. Those with no Jewish grandparents were officially not Jews. So who are Boris Johnson's grandparents? Well, we have Irene Williams, James Fawcett, Francis Lowe, and a Turkish guy called Wilfred Kemmel. None of those people are Jewish. We've looked at both the definition of what makes a Jew, according to rabbinic tradition, and also the strict standards of the Nuremberg Laws of the Third Reich. We found that both agree that Boris Johnson is not a Jew. How did this idea arise then? It is because he has a great-grandfather called Elias Lowe, who was a Lithuanian Jew, although he didn't practice the religion. He preferred uh, Roman Catholicism, actually. This is a very tenuous link to Jewish ancestry, and I think that only complete fanatics who adhere to stricter rules than either the Nazis or the State of Israel could really claim that as a result of this distant relative, our Prime Minister is secretly a Jew. As I say, I can't stand the guy and regard him as epitomising everything I detest about modern politics and the lack of patriotism, but it really is a bit of a stretch to say that he's Jewish. <laughs>